Now, a day after six political parties folded to join the United Democratic Alliance Party, President William Bruto has continued to harvest heavily from the opposition, with the former Kanu Secretary General Nick Salat being the latest to join the ruling party. Speaking at the UDA headquarters when he was received by UDA Secretary General Klopas Malala, Salat said his decision to join UDA came after the Kanu Party, which he had served for 15 years, lost its direction and unity. And as Kennedy Kimani now reports, the consolidation of UDA into a mega party is happening at a time when Azimio has piled up pressure by mobilizing supporters to protest against the rising cost of living. Kenya's ruling party UDA has continued to harvest heavily from the opposition as it plots for a merge of political parties before the 2027 elections. <laughs> Just a day after six parties of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance folded to join the ruling party, UDA has today welcomed more members with the latest being the immediate former Kano Secretary General Nick Salat. So we've decided that the party of choice that we will join and don't look at this team alone, SG, we are many. These are only a sample of the people who are willing and ready to join you. And uh, given a chance, uh, you will see a big number of Kanu members who are willing to join UDA. CC to Mesema Katika Kenya Kwanza, at Ushurtishi Chama Chochote Kuvunjwa. CC to Na ongea na wale ambao wanaifanya kwa iari kwamba ukiona kwamba mawazo ya chama chako na mawazo ya UDA inaambatana basi ya ushurutishu unakuja unajiunga na chama cha UDA lakini ukiona kwamba wewe hautaki kuvunja chama chako sisi tumesema kama Kenya Kwanza tutazidi kufanya kazi na wale ambao bado wangependa ku maintain vyama zao tutafanya kazi nao kwa heshima na bado serikali hii ni serikali ya Kenya Kwanza. Ni serikali ambayo bado inatimiza zile ahadi za coalition za Kenya Kwanza. Kenya Kwanza iko eh, paka ile siku ambayo kutakuwa na mkataba mwingine. The consolidation of UDA into a mega party is happening at a time when Azimio has piled up pressure by mobilizing supporters to protest against the rising cost of living. Malala has however dismissed Azimio leader Raila Odinga's call for public holiday on Monday to allow his followers to protest, saying that Monday is a working day and that Kenyans should ignore the call for demonstrations. Sasa tunaambia wale wa bunge wa ODM kwamba Monday ndio tunafunga masuala ya budget. Musiende maandamano Alafu mambo yenye ya maendeleo mukose kuweka kwa budget on Monday. Alafu mkuje muanze kulia tena hati ya maendeleo katika constituency zenye. Dindi nyoro atakuwa nafanya finalization ya report yake ya budget. Sasa wewe kama unataka wananchi wako wapate maendeleo. Wewe kama kiongozi wa ODM chagua on Monday. Utaenda kwa dindi nyoro wakikishe maendeleo imewa kwenye budget. Ama utaenda kulinga mawe na kuimba tibim na tialala paka jioni. Chagua, chagua ni lako, lakini tunasema Monday is a working day. Ignore, ignore any 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 declarations made by by some people in this country. Kennedy Kimani Hope TV Newswatch Nairobi.